This is the Scott and Nimmo story, part three, and we are looking at the ultrasound machine, which has now been switched on, and uh, looks very impressive. And are you going to give us a little, yeah, we'll give demo? a little demonstration? Unfortunately, yep. I don't have an animal at present, so I'll lose myself. <laughs> right. I'm not sure of the health and safety aspects, but I guess it's safe enough now. What we'll do? Yeah, there's, as, you, as I'm talking away, you can see my larynx. Yep. Here. Yep. Uh, and then I'll try and get. Yeah, I'm talking away there. There, we actually have the blood supply now. I'll get a better image of that. You'll see it pulsing mm. away. Strobing a little bit on this, but I can still see it. I'll try something else in you. Hmm? Okay, all right. I shall. I shall be just looking at the, the uh, controls here, which look fairly straightforward. It's probably in about two buttons you actually use, aren't they? Right, what have no, we got here? This is my liver. <laughs> yeah. This, God, this that looks good. sick. Oh, this yeah. is my liver. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now I'm going to scan through it. Yeah. You can see some of the vessels at the top there. Yeah. The nice round vessels running through. Yeah. You can see the blood passing through as you look now. Yeah. And that's in fact like my liver. Oh yes. Still functioning. Yeah, just it must have come as a bigger surprise to you as it does to me. <laughs> the X-ray machine in the background there. Looking good. And what have we got here? Ah, now I think the top here is going to be a section of intestine there. Yeah, that looks That's like right. it. That's about right. right. Oh, right. Yeah. Wheat a bit by the look of it. Yeah. Good. Well, that's, that's quite reasonable quality, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, I think it's very good. Yeah. yeah. So, if you wanted to do thoracic work, you'd have to. Uh, I would have in to have a different machine. It wouldn't yeah. be any more expensive. I would have to have a Doppler effect machine for that. Sure, sure. With a smaller head. Sure. So ours is just really fine for abdominal work, really. Sure. Well, the same applies to us. If we, you know, uh, they use different gadgets for echoes, sure. uh, yeah. and the one they use for for abdominal scans looks to me, as my, my, to my untutored eye, to be very much the same as that. Yeah, so, it's, it's, this is in fact a human machine. Yeah. There are no bespoke veterinary machines in my way of. Sure. These are all, all human machines, yes. Mm. The problem with ultrasound though, it takes skill to, over many years to interpret the image. Yes. When I got my first ultrasound machine, I nearly sent it back because the image was all fuzzy and I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that's the nature of them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So, if my labs get sick, they can come down here, they can have their surgery here, yeah. they can have their, their x-ray on your uh, wonderful uh, x-ray equipment here, they can have their ultrasound scan and just they can here. also have blood tests if they like. We can get to a full haematology right. and a full enzyme round that you use in the sort of function, kidney function. I can get it within 15 minutes flat. Yeah, I can get a printout within 15 minutes flat. Right. And that is uh, presumably more complex than, than human work because it's got to be species adjusted? Ah, no. Nowadays that's just done with the software. Yeah. I, I can set my machine for a cat, for a dog or for a monkey really yeah. because the reference values are, are, are different. But the building blocks of it, the enzymes like the creatinine, the urea, the pack cell volumes, they are the same for a human or for, for a, like a dog or a cat. I've just got to adjust the, the reference values. The building blocks are exactly the same. Well, that is very impressive. Scott, thank you very much indeed.